Okay, in this episode, we're gonna mount the motor and finish up the electrical wiring. Okay, you can see the old wedge has come off. We're gonna get the new wedge on. The reason why is because there's a millimeter change on the chassis. They're a little bit different uh, diameters on the chassis. Before I do this, I got some blue Loctite. Loctite. Okay, so the motor is now in place. It's not bolted down yet. And just pulled a couple of the tubes and the wires over the seat strut and basically getting it ready to bolt down. You can see some smart marks on the chassis where the old motor was mounted. Um, I'm just gonna get the little undermounts in place, but not tight because I don't know how tight the motor needs to be yet until the chain and the sprocket are on. So there's the bolts and the undersides, and I'll get that in place. As I spoke before, all these are wear items. These will get chewed up and worn out, so planning for a new set of these every couple of seasons or so. Okay, they're just on their finger tight. Next, I'm gonna pull this off. We're gonna get the sprocket on there, get a chain mounted, and then we'll get the motor set in the right spot and then we're gonna start wiring it up. I'm going to start the season with an 81 tooth gear. This one's about halfway done. So by the time I get finished practicing, maybe my first race on this, and then I'm going to start moving down. Last year I was running 82s and 83s, and I finished the year on 81, and this year I'm going to be going lower. Okay, I'm gonna start with the blue chain for the year. These have the O-rings in it. Um, I will probably switch to gold later in the year, but for practice, this is great. I raced with these all last year and I still won the championship with it, so the blue O-ring chains are fine. I'm just gonna lube it up first. The reason why it's all kinked like that is because it's the O-rings. Chain's still good. So you can see, I got the chain on, and I just noticed that this is way over here and the motor's way over there. That's kind of funny. So we have to get this moved over, which means I gotta redo this chain guard. I'm gonna do that right now. So yet once again, I start down a path and not until really far down that path where I realize I made a mistake. Okay, the guard has moved over. Now here's the question. 
can we get the chain move over? I don't know if we can. No, silly, you can't. It's not gonna work. Finally here, you can see I'm struggling to figure out what my problem is. And you guys who know about Cardi, you can see it right away. I'm lining up the sprocket with the starter gear and the flywheel, not with the actual place it's supposed to go. No wonder everything was not fitting properly. Oh my goodness. What a rookie move. I want the chain lined up here. I was trying to line it up back to there. That's a mistake. It'll never fit if you go there. Could line up to the pinion, not to the starter gear. <laughs> okay, now that that's over, let's get to the wiring. First connector in with a little pin clip, you'll see that go in. Second connector just snaps in place. And this just snaps in place as well. So you can see all the wires are in now. Connection here, connection there connection here and the starter connection and that's it that's all the wires it's pretty simple so let's just get these all tucked up and so that they're all nice and organized and the wires don't drag down and hit onto the asphalt not too pretty but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now we just got the one just got the one brace mount here this these brake lines don't get hot this can get very hot so I want to keep some separation here so keeping that a little separate I just used that little pick up there and then I braced it or, or snapped it on over here one little trick, I just I put a tie in vertically here, so I clamped up here and then just tied it down so these cables don't settle down onto the bottom. Because what I'm afraid of is that these cables start dragging on the asphalt. So just having them kind of lifted up off the chassis a little bit, I think will do well. And it looks a little messy because all the tails are still on, but I'll cut those off and it'll look a little bit cleaner. So to move the motor, you have the clamps on the bottom are loose. And this is just a nut, you just pull this nut forward and then you can thread this thing back and get the motor into the position you want it to be. You see the chain tightness is perfect, not too tight. And we got the nut and the stopper all set nicely. So now we're just gonna tighten the bottom bolts. You can just see the bottom bolts on the, on the thing here. One, two, we're gonna tighten those up and then that's it, that's where the motor sits. What should we do next? Hmm. Place joint, time to relax and maybe enjoy some nice spring weather and a bit of a campfire. Holy crap, we got a big one. I 
can't even get it on the camera.